Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Ulanzi microscope lens for the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. And I have the Pro Max, so we're going to go ahead and put this on the phone, try it out, see how it goes, but let's unbox it first and see what comes inside. And here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the Ulanzi microscope lens. And as we just take a quick look around the box here, we can see that it really, there's not much on here to see. It says microscope lens on this side, on this side again, micro, microscope lens, barcode. And then on this side, there is uh, a little bit of their, uh, their mission statement here. It says a small brand focusing on phonography. So yeah, um, that's it. Let's go ahead and, uh, and open this up. So I have my handy dandy uh, box opening knife here, which is my Benchmade bug out. Let's go ahead and uh, cut through this and get this open. And so let's just take this plastic off and get all that out of there. And then let's, uh, let's see, how does this thing open up here? So it looks like, it looks like it should open from the bottom here, but I'm not really sure. So it looks like this might slide out somewhat, but it looks like the box is a little bent. So have to figure if we can slide. There we go. Yep, I think it's gonna slide out, but the box got bent during shipping. So it's a little tough to get out of there. So let's we'll see if we can get Try not to destroy the box, but I think that might have to happen because, yep, I think it's gonna, oh well. I hate having to do that, but had to do it because it was stuck and wouldn't come out. So let's get this, uh, let's get this out of there. All right, so we have a user manual here that is going to tell us how to uh, put this thing on. So. Um, it looks like there is a case and then the lens attachment and uh, yeah, so we'll set that over there for the moment. So we have a cleaning cloth so that we can clean stuff off with it. So we'll set that over there. We now have the case here and let's see if we can get this off and there we go. Oh, I was wondering what was sticking on there. I thought it was sticking onto this, but it's just got a little uh, foam cut out the same size as your phone. So. All right, so here's the case, and as we can see it, and this is the, uh, the microscope lens portion of it there, and so this does slide off if, or slide over if you want. It looks like, uh, I think this actually comes off if, you, if you're not using it, it will come off so that you can just use your regular camera lenses, um, and then you can slide it on when you're ready to use it. So that's actually nice to see. The only thing, that I see that I think is really missing, which is sort of a bit of a disappointment, is a little is a little pouch or something to keep this uh, to keep the actual lens uh, in when you're not using it. Because if you want to carry this with you, and um, and you want to be able to go ahead and just pop it on when you want it, you don't want this lens getting scratched up. So it'd be nice if they had provided a little pouch that you can uh, quickly put in there and then throw in your backpack or your pocket or something like that. So anyways, let's go ahead and put my phone in here. So let's uh, just pop that into there. Pops on nice and easy as we can see there. And there we have it. So um, now this is rechargeable. So we will see here on, uh, on the side of this, there is a little uh, plug there so that you can actually plug this in. Let's just take this all the way off. And we can see here, once you take it off, you have your access to your regular cameras. But um, right here is where you're actually gonna plug in. And it looks like it's gonna use a, and maybe a micro USB, um, but yeah, we'll find out. They didn't provide a cable in here, it doesn't look like. So um, I guess we're gonna have to get our own cable and plug in. Um, this is a little power button right there that, uh, that's going to use to turn the light on because it does have a little LED light. So we'll turn that, see if we can push that. I think that's the light button. So I'm not really sure. Maybe, um, maybe it turns on automatically. I'm not sure how that works. We're gonna have to read the instructions, I think a little bit um, to see if we can get this thing working. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, charge this thing up and see if we can get it going. And then I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a couple of test shots and see what this thing looks like uh, as it's working. All right, so I went ahead and put a little bit of a charge in the, uh, in the camera here and with the light. So we'll go ahead and just push the button there 
and we can see there that the light is on and now we are able to go ahead and start testing stuff out. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's just test it out. Let's go see what it can do and uh, see how this thing works. All right, so I went ahead and pulled out a few things. So I just have a leaf from one of the house plants here. I have a quarter and I have a sunflower seed shell. So we're gonna go ahead and just see what it looks like with each one of these with the regular uh, lens from my iPhone. And then we're gonna see what it looks like once we put on the microscope lens. All right, so here we are. And I actually threw a penny in the mix as well, just so that I can get uh, a little extra color in there. But let's go ahead and uh, let's just take a look first at say the sunflower seed. So here's a sunflower seed. Let's see how close we can get and actually get it in focus. So let's see, we're about there is about as maximum magnification as we can get with it in focus. So yeah, and then let's go ahead and put the quarter in there and see what that looks like. So um, the quarter is going to be about there. That's about as, that's about as uh, magnified as we can get. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Nope, about there is about as big as we can get it. And then the, uh, and then the leaf, the leaf is a little bit bigger, so we may have to back up just a hair. Or we may be able to get in a little bit. Let's see if we can get there. No. So there we go. That's about that. And then let's check the penny here. So there we go. That's about it for the penny right there. All right. Let's go ahead now and put the lens on there, the, the magnification lens, the microscope lens. And uh, let's see how this is going to uh, improve things, if it's going to let us get closer. So when I first saw the lens, when I hooked it up, I thought something was wrong with it because it looked like this. But really what it is, is you have to move your subjects very, very close to the magnifying uh, scope, the microscope, so that you can see it. And look at that. that. All that detail right there, that is the sunflower seed right there. That is this little tiny sunflower seed it's absolutely incredible so let's put it back over to the microscope and here we go let's uh let's put it right there next to it and yeah look at that that's just a crazy crazy amount of detail and we'll see if we can get this focused and hold it right on there and yeah that is just and because this is not a flat thing the the sunflower seed is not a flat surface it's sort of get some parts of it in focus and other parts that aren't. But look at all that detail. It's really pretty incredible. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the quarter here. So I have the quarter. Let's go ahead and put this under the microscope and see what it looks like. And here we are. We'll move it in closer and closer and closer so that we can really get in there. And look at all that detail. Let's just move up to a section of the quarter that we all recognize. And let's take a look there. And there we have that. Look at that. It's just, it's just amazing. Look at, look how just, I mean, it's, it's just kind of nuts. I'm trying to get the, trying to get the, the, uh, the lens situated right on there so that we can see it. And man, that is just amazing. The letters, I mean, the letters just look huge, you know, when you have it under the microscope. And it actually is really pretty sharp. I'm really surprised how sharp it is. Uh, when you get it in there and you can actually tap the screen on your phone to get it focused a little bit better if you need to get it positioned right. So yeah, this is, this is really amazing. Now, if you want to go, you can see some of the detail and, and like the hair, you can see the eyes, you can see the nose, the mouth. I mean, that is just incredible in comparison to how small it is uh, in reality. So this is really, really incredible. Now let's take a look at the penny and see what it looks like under the microscope as well. So let's toss the penny under there and let's just take a look here and lower this down. And let's see if we can find it situated right there. And yeah, look at that. So there we have it and we can see it. If you've never seen a penny up close and personal, then this is what it looks like. This is what it says. And you guys can check that out. It really is kind of cool. So. This is the back side of the penny right here, and you can see all the imperfections that are in there from usage, and it really is just amazing. We can see there it says cent, and over here it's gonna say one, so you can see right there how it goes right across. It just says one cent, and this is just, this is so much fun. I just can't tell you how much fun this really is. So 
The only thing is, is that when you're using a reflective uh, surface like a penny or something shiny, you can see how there's that little sort of halo effect um, on here where you really get, uh, we can see the light that's in there from the, from the actual light of the microscope. So, but other than that, it really is pretty amazing. The lens is actually remarkably sharp. I'm really, really surprised how sharp this, uh, this lens really is. It's kind of cool. So yeah, this is, this is just a lot of fun. We can see up here again, it says, uh, you know, it says United States and we can scroll right along there, United States and uh, up America. And yeah, it's just, this is fun. I can't wait to share this with you guys. This is really, really incredible. Now, I know a lot of you are going to use this to look at leaves and flowers and bugs and stuff. So I figured I would pluck a little leaf off from one of the house plants and uh, show this one here too. So let's go ahead and put this under the microscope and uh, let's just take a look at this here. So let's move this in close here and, uh, and get this going and let's see if I can get it positioned right. And there we, let's see, there we go. All right, let's see if I can get this focused up right. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of cool. You can see all those patterns. It's, it's one of those things with nature that's kind of cool is, is you see all the various patterns, the repeating patterns that are in plants and, and flowers and such. And it just, I mean, it's just really, really amazing and very cool to see. So now again, this is not a really flat, uh, this is not a really flat uh, surface here. So it's a little bit more challenging to get everything in focus at one time. So uh, for something like this, it really works well if you have a slide or something that you can put this under and flatten it out so that you really get a nice, clear, even focused picture. So I want to do one more and this is of a bill, a US currency bill because there is so much detail in there. So let's go ahead put the microscope on there and try it out. Right now what we're seeing is just a shot using the iPhone 11 Pro Max's regular lens, lens just the standard lens at 1x. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll see how close we can get here with it. So that is about right there. That's about as close as we can get on there. And if I go to 2x here, I can get a little bit better there. I can get a little bit closer in there. So that's pretty good detail right there, about there. That's what I can get in. So let's go ahead now and again, let's put the, let's go ahead and put the microscope on there and let's see what this is gonna look like. All right, so here we go. I have the lens on, the microscope lens on. Let's jump onto this 20 and look at all that detail. It's just amazing how much detail is in there. Man, that is incredible. It's sometimes it's even a little bit hard to tell where you are on the bill because we're so close up and there's so much detail in there. But look at that, you can see the individual fibers in there because the, the money is made out of a, a, it's like a cotton fiber blend. But you can see some of the imperfections that are in there. This is really, really just incredible. You really can see so much in there. I mean, I believe that is like uh, one of the wings or something of a, of a eagle. But there's just, yeah, this is, this is really, really fascinating. And uh, let's flip the bill over and take a look at the other side a little bit. All right, we're gonna take a look at the back right here. So on the back, there's some letters, like it says, uh, the United States of America and God we trust. There's a picture of the White House. So it's a little bit, a uh, little more recognizable. So let's take a look here. Yeah, it's still, it's so, it's so close. It's so tight that it's, it's just incredible how much detail there is. You can't even really read the letters because the letters are just simply too big. But you can see right here where it says 20 in there. So that's barely visible to the naked eye when you're looking at it. And you can see again, it says 20 again in there and another 20 and you can see the fiber that's in there. So yeah, it's just, a, there's 20 all over in there just sort of embedded in the bill that, that most people really don't even notice. And these are all counterfeiting measures so that it makes it difficult for people to counterfeit these, uh, these bills. And it really is just a, a really amazing feat of, of just scientific artistry, if one could say that. It's really an amazing thing that how much art has gone in here, both as counterfeit measures and it's just a matter of making the bills aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, in there, but look at that. You can see that red fiber in there that's just, uh, that's just sort of individual. I don't think those are, those are something that anyone can counterfeit. I think they're gonna be unique to each and every bill. And again, another, another 20 in there. So another little fiber, this one's blue. It's just very, very, very cool. 
All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is it. That is the Ulanzi microscope lens. This is a 400X magnification microscope lens that you can put right onto your iPhone, and it is fantastic. It's super fun. The lens is way sharper than I expected, and it's very, very easy to use. And it has that included light, so you don't even have to worry about trying to find a way to light your subjects it has a light that's built into it. So now for all of my all the way through crew people, I have a surprise. That's right, I actually have a giveaway. Ulanzi makes this for both the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 11 Pro. And because I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I'm gonna be giving away the iPhone 11 Pro model. And all you have to do is leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know what you would like to see up close and personal. So whether it's looking at a penny or some hair or a leaf or a bug, whatever it is, let me know how you would use this microscope lens in the comment section and you'll be entered to win. So there you go. So anyhow, I'm gonna leave links to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and all of my social media contacts so you can reach me everywhere. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.